Now, does your baby have to burp? Your newborn baby, do they have to burp? Now, that's an interesting question. I'm Dr. Obedio, Newborn Prep Academy, and that's what I want to answer today. Does your newborn baby have to burp? Well, first of all, what's a burp? Well, a burp is when your baby is bringing up some extra gas that, um, that has been sort of stored up in the, in the belly, the stomach, usually. And um, how does that get there? Typically, it gets there when you're feeding. And so oftentimes when babies are feeding, um, either breastfeeding or bottle feeding, that whole process can get them to swallow some air, which, you know, tends to want come out after they're done feeding as a burp. So the question now becomes, you know, what happens if they don't burp? Well, if they don't burp, um, the air kind of finds its way out eventually. Um, eventually, it finds its way out either coming back up as a burp down the road or goes further down there, you know release some gas um, and babies can release some gas right so the baby the, 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 the point being that your baby typically will be fine even if it doesn't burp now but isn't there an advantage to burping a baby i think instinctively we feel that there is because if they don't burp they can feel very uncomfortable when the gas is there and they kind of you know writhe and um just become more fussy and so oftentimes when you burp them they seem to kind of become better but it's actually an interesting study that was done in 2014 that, you know, was a randomized control study, which means that they really tried to take two groups of babies that were kind of, you know, similar to each other in their characteristics, you know, how old they are and, and what they weigh and all of that. And they had one group of moms burp the baby after feeding and one group of moms not burp the baby after feeding to see if there was going to be any difference in how comfortable the babies are. And the interesting uh, finding was that the babies who were not burped actually had less colic symptoms and less um, speed ups and regurgitation than the babies who were burped, which this doesn't seem to make sense, right? Um, but it was a control study. So they did really do a good study to see if there was a difference if you burped your baby and if you didn't burp your baby. So, and that study seems to suggest that, you know, don't burp your baby. Well, that's not exactly what I'm saying. Um, go ahead and burp your baby after feeding because it, it typically will make them feel better. However, if your baby does not burp, I don't want to, I don't want you to freak out. I don't want you to feel like there's going to be some harm um, that they get to experience because they weren't burped. Um, and some babies are just more difficult to burp. So I think you just get to learn what your baby is like. And you get to learn if your baby is one that burps very easily or if your baby is one that doesn't burp at all or hardly burps. So it just burps more difficultly, right? And I think you want to go with the flow. So I wouldn't spend inordinate amounts of time, you know, lots of time trying to get your baby to burp. I will just, you know, Try and burp them, and if they don't burp, they don't burp, you know, because no foul, no harm. They'll be fine. The gas will find its way out, maybe not in the way you would like it, because um, sometimes their gas can be smelly too, especially if the poop has been there for a while. Um, but <laughs> all jokes aside, I want you to know that your baby will be fine if they don't burp, and um, do not fuss excessively over it, okay? Well, I hope that was helpful. Again, this is Dr. Obedi of the Newborn Prep Academy. And wherever you're watching this, there's going to be a bunch of resources that you have access to. Either my free resource guides. One is called the Confident New Mom Guide. That I really go over some nice, good tips that every mom expecting a baby or one caring for a newborn baby should really know. Um, and then you may also, uh, uh, you can access also um, the uh, um, a guide that I've created to help you choose the right pediatrician. It's a really nice, simple framework, um, three-part framework that helps you get to the right pediatrician for your baby. So you can check that out. And if you need more support, you can um, um, access a number of the courses that are available. Um, there's a newborn preparation course that really lays out everything you really need to know um, that is critical to being able to confidently um, care for your baby. You know exactly what to expect and you're able to troubleshoot issues that may arise. And there's also a smaller course, a mini course um, called the Baby uh, Prep Essentials. It really covers some essential things that make that journey much easier. So again, you know, um, just resources to support you wherever you are and just glad that you're listening to this video. Please share it with a friend who is expecting a baby or who has just recently delivered one because these um, little tips I share can be really helpful and make the difference between caring for your baby confidently or not so confidently. 
All right, Dr. Vidi here. Bye for now. See you again some other time soon.